holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to thou who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God. Bestow thy bounties upon the new nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy mind those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries. Having in thy name a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O champion dread, who canst not be put to confusion, despise not our petitions. O good in all praise, they all talk us. Establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us. And lead us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God, and alone art blessed. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father, in the name of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, good will toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him and God. But thou, o Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. 
Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chase me in thy hot displeasure, for thine arrows took fast me, and thy hand pressed me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin, for mine iniquities are gone over mine head. As a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long, for my loins are filled with the loathsome of disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken, I have ruined by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, my groaning is not hid from me. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me, as for the light of mine eyes it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, <coughs> and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me, for I am ready to halt. And my sorrow is continually before me, for I will declare mine iniquity, and I will be sorry for my sin. But mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek me. My soul, my soul thirsteth after thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall, shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. For those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. If they shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength free among the dead, like the slain that lay in the, gra the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, and darkness in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. <clears throat> I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. My eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. What thou show wonders to the dead, shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me. Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me and mine acquaintance into darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made, he made, his, he made known his ways unto Moses. 
His acts are the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. <clears throat> like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him, for he knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust, as for man his days are as grass as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength to do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless you, the Lord, all ye his hosts. Ye ministers of his that do his pleasure, bless the Lord all his works and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, and my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands, I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for in thee I lift up my soul. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off all mine enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Our Lord, our Yeah, Rabu. 
God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. When thou didst submit thyself unto death, O thou deathless and immortal one, then thou didst destroy hell with thy godly power. And when thou didst raise the dead from beneath the earth, all the powers of heaven did cry aloud unto thee. O Christ, thou giver of life, glory to thee. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thou, O Christ, art our God of exceeding praise, who didst establish our holy fathers as luminous stars upon earth, and through them didst guide us unto the true faith. O most merciful one, glory to thee. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and did suffer crucifixion, O good one, and is his royal death through death, and as God is revealed resurrection, despise not those whom thou hast created with thine own hand. Show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the intercessions of thy mother, the Theotokos, for us, and save thy despairing people, O our Savior. did bring down thy pure body from the tree, wrapped it in fine linen, and laid it in a new tomb. But thou didst rise in three days, O Lord, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Verily the angel did appear at the tomb, saying to the ointment bearing women, The ointment is worthy of the dead, but Christ hath been shown to be foreign to corruption. Rather cry ye instead. The Lord is risen, granting the world great mercy. Now endeavor unto ages of ages, amen. Exceeding glorious beyond the power of thought are thy mysteries of Theotokos. For being sealed in purity and preserved in virginity, thou wast acknowledged to be in very truth. The mother <coughs> did spring forth the true God. Wherefore entreat him to save our souls. O Lord, since thou didst not prevent the sealing of the tombstone when thou didst arise, thou didst bestow on all the rock of fidelity. O Lord, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
Verily the, the assemblies of the disciples rejoice in unison with the ointment bearing women. As for us, we celebrate with them a common festival to the honor and exaltation of thy resurrection, exclaiming to thee, O Lord, lover of mankind, grant thy people through their supplications great mercy. Now endeavored unto ages of ages, amen. Most blessed art thou, O virgin Theotokos, for through him that was incarnate of thee is Hades despoiled. Adam is recalled from the dead, the curse is made void, Eve is set free. Death is slain, and we are endowed with life. Wherefore, in hymns of praise we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who is thus well pleased. Glory to thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroying the power of death, and with thee raising up Adam, and releasing all men from hell. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Wherefore, O women, disciples, do ye mingle sweet-smelling spices with your tears of pity? The radiant angel within the sepulchre cried unto the myrrh-bearing women. Behold the grave and understand, for the Savior is risen from the tomb. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Very early in the morning did the myrrh-bearing women run lamenting unto thy tomb. But an angel came toward them, saying, The time for lamentation is past. We but but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Summer bearing women, mourned as bearing spices, they drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angels spake unto them, saying, Why number ye the living among the dead? In that he is God, he is risen from the grave. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father, as also the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity, in one essence, crying with the seraphim. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O Lord, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In that thou didst bear the giver of life, O Virgin, thou didst redeem Adam from sin, and this gift to weave joy in place of sadness. And he who was incarnate of thee, both God and man, hath restored to life those who had fallen therefrom. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God, O our God and our own glory to
after thy passion to anoint thy body, O Christ God, where they saw a vision of angels and were astonished. For they heard them crying with a loud voice, The Lord is risen and hath granted the world great mercy. Behold, O Savior, toward heaven I raise the eyes of my heart to thee. Save me by thine illumination. O Christ, have mercy upon us guilty men who transgress thee against thee often and in every hour. Give us before the end the means of a repentance acceptable to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, the sovereignty over creation, its sanctification, and its motion are of the Holy Spirit. For he is God, consubstantial with the Father and the Word. Except the Lord were in our midst, who could have been kept <clears throat> safe from the man-destroying enemy? Verily, my enemies roar like lions, O Savior. Deliver not their, thy servant to their teeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the element of life and honor, for as God, he doth establish all creatures and preserves them in the Father and the Son. They who put their trust in the Lord are like the holy mountains, for they are never shaken by the attacks of the lion. They put not forth their hands to evil, who live the divine life. For Christ God will not deliver his inheritance to the evil ones. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the fount of all wisdom, for from him cometh grace to the apostles. The martyrs by him are crowned in their struggles, and the prophets in foreknowledge look to him. Arise, O my Lord and God, in the precept which thou hast commanded. And the congregation, the people, shall surround thee. Arise, O my Lord and God, in the precept which thou hast commanded. And the congregation, the people, shall surround thee. My Lord and my God, in thee have I put my trust. Arise, O my Lord and God, in the precept which thou hast commanded, and the congregation of people shall surround thee. Praise ye God and saints, praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that hath praise praise the Lord.
shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins and blood up all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with a guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the impious shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For hast thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit. A contrite and humble heart, O God, that will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good will, and desire that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through the intercessions of the apostles, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitude of our transgressions. Upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out mine iniquity. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, hath given unto us life eternal and great mercy. Of the Lord. 
Son who shone forth from the Father ineffably was born, twofold of nature of a woman. Beholding him, we deny not the image of his form, but depicting it piously, we revere it faithfully. And for this cause, the church and that holdeth the true faith, doth venerate the icon of Christ's incarnation. The all-compassionate God, ever wishing to arouse us to perfect recollection of his becoming man, hath delivered this precept unto men, namely, that his venerable form should be depicted through the painting of icons, so that beholding it with our eyes, we might believe what we have heard by word, and might clearly know the accomplishments and names, the appearances and the contest of the saints, and might also know the Christ, the crown bestower, who granteth crowns unto the holy athletes and martyrs, through whom now the church yet more manifestly holdeth fast the true faith and doth venerate the icon of Christ's incarnation. On October 15th, we commemorate the hieromartyr Lucian of Antioch, <clears throat> venerable Ephthemios the Younger of Athos, and Savinos, Bishop of Catania. On this day, we commemorate the holy and blessed fathers who came together for the second time in Nicaea during the reign of the pious and Christ-loving sovereigns Constantine and Irene, against those who impiously, ignorantly, and foolishly asserted that the Church of God worshipeth idols and rejected the august and holy icons. Thy champions, O word, with words as their weapons turned to flight the foes of the venerable icons. This council met in 787 to refute the iconoclast heresy, whose camp held that all depictions of Christ, his mother, and the saints were idols and should therefore be destroyed. The council decreed that the veneration of icons was not idolatry because the honor was shown to them is not directed to the wood or paint, <clears throat> but passes to the prototype, the person depicted. It also upheld the possibility of depicting Christ since he became man and took flesh at his incarnation. The Father, on the other hand, cannot be represented in his eternal nature because no man has seen God at any time. By the intercessions of the Holy Fathers, O oh Christ God, have mercy upon us. I shall open my mouth, and it will be filled with the Spirit, and I shall speak forth to the Queen and Mother. I shall be seen joyfully singing her praises, and I shall delight to sing of her wonders. As a living and copious fountain, O Theotokos, do thou strengthen those who hymn thy praises and are joined together in spiritual company for thy service and in thy divine glory make them worthy of crowns of glory. He who sits in clouds of glory upon the throne of the Godhead, Jesus the Most High God, came with mighty hand and saved those who cried out unto him, Glory to thy power, O Christ. All creation was amazed at thy divine glory. For thou, O unwedded virgin, didst hold within thee the God of all, and didst bear the eternal Son, who rewards with salvation all who him thy praises. As we the godly-minded celebrate this sacred and honorable feast of the Mother of God, Come, let us clap our hands together and glorify the God whom she bore. The godly-minded children worship not the creature rather than the creator, but trampling upon the threat of far and many fashion, they rejoice and sing, O oh, all praise, Lord and God of our fathers. Let us praise, bless, and worship the Lord, the three holy children, in the furnace the child of the Theotoko saved. Then was the time, now is its fulfillment, and the whole world gathers to sing. 
All ye works praise the Lord and magnify him unto all ages. My soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou with us, Saint Maris, God the Word, and our truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. For he hath regard the loneliness of his heaven, <coughs> and for behold from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou without stain bearest God the word, and our truly Theotokos we magnify thee. For he, hath, for he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou with thou saint bearest God the word, and our truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He has shown strength with his army, has scattered the proud. And the imagination <coughs> of their hearts, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou with thou saint bearest God the word, and our truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and exalted them with the humble and meek. He hath filled the empty with good things, and the rich he hath sent to empty, empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou with thou, Saint Mary's God the Word, and our truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He, remembering his mercy, hath helped his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou with thou, Saint Mary's God the Word, and our truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Let all earth mourn mortals, rejoice in spirit, bearing their lamps, and let the nature of bodiless minds Celebrate with honor the holy festival of the Mother of God and cry out, Hail, O blessed, pure, and ever virgin
kindness manifest to the nations, thy resurrection from the dead, for thou alone art the lover of mankind. Praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power. Answer, O Jews, how was it that the guardian soldiers lost the king whom they were guarding? Why was it that the stone could not retain the book of life? Either must ye therefore deliver to us him that was buried, or worship with us him who is risen, shouting, Glory to thy bountiful mercies, our Savior, glory to thee. Praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. Rejoice, O nations, and be glad, for the angel has sat on the stone of the grave and given us the glad tidings, saying, Christ, the Savior of the world, is risen from the dead. He hath filled all with sweet scent. Rejoice, O ye nations, and be joyful. Praise him with sound the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. O Lord God, verily before thy conception, an angel did come with peace to her, who is full of grace. And now an angel hath rolled the stone from the door on the tomb. Instead of sorrow, and the latter brought us the glad tidings of the Lord who was who giveth life instead of death. Therefore, do we shout to thee, O benefactor of all, glory to thee, O Lord. Praise him with a timbre and dance, praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Making careful inquiry with the divine spirit's guidance and joining together all knowledge of things spiritual as the scribes of God. The august fathers wrote the celestial symbol, the august greed of our holy faith. Wherein they clearly teach that with his begetter the word of God is also co-beginningless and is consubstantial with him in truth. For these godly minded, all glorious and truly blessed saints, openly followed with fervent faith all that the apostles taught. Praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Making careful inquiry with the divine spirit's guidance and joining together all knowledge of things spiritual as the scribes of God. The august fathers wrote the celestial symbol, the august creed of our holy faith. Wherein they clearly teach that with his begetter the word of God is also co-beginningless and is consubstantial with him in truth. For these godly minded, all glorious and truly blessed saints, openly followed with fervent faith all that the apostles taught. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Since Christ's heralds had received all of the spiritual brightness of the Holy Spirit's light and had been inspired of God, they proclaimed to all that divine oracle filled with wondrous wisdom, which though few in words is great in breath, 
For they who staunchly fought for the gospel's doctrines and for divine traditions clearly had received holy revelation from God on high. And being enlightened, those blessed fathers set forth for the world that holy faith which was taught of God, making known eternal truth. Gather together unto him his holy ones, who have been established his covenant upon sacrifices. As true servants of Christ God, the godly shepherds assemble all their wise experience as the shepherds of the flock and with godly zeal. Stirring up righteous wrath, they wrought righteous judgment, driving off disease and grievous wolves. When with the Spirit sing, they expel them all from the church's ranks, as fallen even unto death, stricken with a malady past all cure. For the Holy Fathers were venerable initiates and seers of the divine preaching from on high, teaching sacred mysteries. Glory to the Father and to the Son. Blessed are 
Today is salvation come unto the world. Let us sing praises to him that arose from the grave, the author of our life. For having by death destroyed death, he hath given us victory and great mercy.